I believe that grace is a direct response to gratitude. That the more grateful you are, the more grace steps in and shows itself and mirrors the gratitude that you have. Don't be afraid. All you have to know is who you are because there is no such thing as failure. There is no such thing as failure. What other people label or might try to call failure, I have learned is just God's way of pointing you in a new direction. What you appreciate appreciates. What you appreciate in life actually appreciates, meaning it grows. So imagine this, imagine you have a thought experiment where you did this every single day if you're willing. What if the only things in your life tomorrow are the things you express gratitude for today? What if the only things in your life you had, the people, the opportunities, the resources, the, the objects, all the things, what if the only things you kept tomorrow are the things you expressed gratitude for today? Would you live differently? Of course, we all would. And how does it feel to feel grateful? It's amazing, right? Because somebody can have everything and not appreciate it, and it feels like they have nothing. But somebody can have very little resources, but they feel so grateful and appreciative, they like have everything. How does one lead a meaningful life? Because ultimately, isn't that what we all want? We want to lead a life so that however we transition, people can say, wow, that was a bright one. I think that it comes from a deep sense of awareness about who you are and why you're here. It comes from being in touch with, on a regular basis, the appreciation and the holy gratitude that should fill each of our hearts on a regular basis, just knowing what a privilege it is to be here and to be human. Make sure your daily attitude is filled with love and gratitude. I know you may not be where you want to be in life. Finances may not be in the right place. Relationship may be in shambles. But you woke up this morning. It's a blessing. If you're still breathing, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. So start your day by counting your blessings and give thanks for the many lessons that life has put you in a position to learn from. That life has put you in a position to grow from. Give thanks for having the strength to power through all of the stressing, to power through all of the adversity, to power through all of the hard times, all of the rough patches. And if you smack dab in the middle of one right now, give thanks because the universe, because God is going to see you through this. And on the other side of that darkness comes your sunshine. Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. Sometimes you find out what you're supposed to be doing by doing the things you're not supposed to do. 
So don't expect the perfect job that defines your life's work to come along next week. If that happens, take the blessing and run with it. But if not, be grateful to be on the path where you eventually want to live. Abide in the space of gratitude because this is what I know for sure, that only through being grateful for how far you've come in your path can you leave room for more blessings to flow. Blessings flow in the space of gratitude. Everything in your life is happening to teach you more about yourself. So even in a crisis, be grateful. When disappointed, be grateful. When things aren't going the way you want them to, be grateful that you have sense enough to turn it around. Even when things are difficult, be grateful. Honor your calling. Don't worry about how successful you will be. Don't worry about it. Focus on how significant you can be in service and the success will take care of itself. And always take a stand for yourself, your values. You're defined by what you stand for. Your integrity is not for sale. How many times has God showed you something in your imagination? And then you took it in there to your family and your friends and they shot it down. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. If you decide to be rich today, who's going to stop you? Unless you tell it to the wrong person. Jealousy. Jealousy is a dangerous thing. It's a scary thing what people will do when you didn't do nothing to him. Some people just hate you because you bless. It's not what you did. They just hate you because you're blessed. I'm not going to stop walking in my blessings so you like me. If you can't handle it, take your best shot because I'm blessed. Shout it out, I'm blessed. We all love to be blessed. Our business taking off. We meet the person of our dreams. But here's the key. The blessing doesn't come by itself. But with that blessing is going to come opposition, jealousy, people that are not for you. The question is not so much, can you handle the blessing? The question is, can you handle the persecution? Everyone is not going to celebrate your success. All your friends won't be happy when you get that promotion, when you move into that new house, when you get engaged. The favor on your life will stir up the jealousy, the competition, the envy in certain people. You can't have the blessing without some kind of persecution. If you can handle the persecution, then God can trust you with the blessing. You have to pass the test of overlooking insults, ignoring what people are saying. They wouldn't be talking if you weren't making a difference. Let God deal with the naysayers. Let God take care of those that are trying to make you look bad. Some people can't handle your success. They were fine as long as you were at their level, as long as you were single like them, as long as you lived in their neighborhood. You have to be okay with them not being okay with you. Your time is too valuable to worry about what people think about you. You don't need everyone to celebrate you. You don't need all your coworkers, all your relatives to cheer you on. If you become too dependent on people, then if they don't meet your expectations, if they don't approve you, you'll spend your time trying to get their approval. Don't look to people, look to God. People can get jealous. You don't need their approval, you have almighty God's approval. Don't get upset when people turn on you. Don't be revengeful and use your influence to pay them back. Always thinking about what they said, ignore it. Keep dreaming, keep being good to people, and God will take care of the persecutors. He'll deal with the critics, the jealous people, the opposition. People can't stop your destiny. The blessing on your life is greater than any force that's trying to hold you back. Now, don't stay focused on the persecution. It's a test. Can you handle the opposition, the jealousy? You know who gets jealous when you succeed? small-minded people think you going up makes them look bad so they try to pull you down 
Instead of believing that what God did for you, he can do for them, they start criticizing, trying to make you look bad. They think God's favor is limited. They don't realize God has unlimited favor. What he's done for you, he can do for them. If you can't celebrate people that are ahead of you, if you can't be happy when they get promoted, when they get married, when their dream comes to pass, that's going to limit how high God will take you. Your family member moving into that nice house shouldn't intimidate you, it should inspire you. God didn't run out of favor. If he did it for them, he could do it for you. That God is about to release greater blessings, greater influence, favor that you haven't seen. But for this to happen, you have to be able to handle the blessing. You're okay with people not liking you. You're not defensive when people don't understand. If you'll show God that you can handle the blessing, he'll open doors that you could never open. Favor that will thrust you ahead. When people don't accept you, when they leave you out, don't take it personally. It's not about you. It's about the favor that God's put on you. Are you upset over who's against you? Who turned on you? Who's talking about you? It comes with the blessing. With great favor comes great haters. With great abundance comes great opposition. We pray for the blessings. God, give me great favor, great ideas. That's good. But we should add to that prayer, and God, help me to endure great persecution. Help me to stay on the high road and trust you to fight my battles. When you see great blessing, soon someone will not understand. Soon a family member will get jealous. And this is not to discourage you, but to prepare you. If you're prepared, you don't get bitter. Stay on the high road. Don't pay attention to jealous, small-minded people. And sometimes the way God pays you back is he keeps blessing you when others are trying to discredit you. He keeps taking you up when they're doing their best to pull you down. Here's the key. The grace is there to handle it. You have what it takes to not be offended, to not let what they say get down in your spirit. You have to rule your emotions. You have to not dwell on the offense. When you're tempted to get bitter, take that same time to thank God for how he blessed you. Don't let jealous people steal your blessing. People that are never going to be for you keep you from the greatness that God put in you. Don't waste your time trying to change your critic's mind. Don't argue with people that don't matter. Their opinion is not going to keep you from your purpose. That negative chatter is a distraction. You can't stop what they're saying, but you can ignore it. You don't have to respond to the negative. A response gives that person credibility. Don't validate what they're saying by answering them. You have a destiny to fulfill. Do like Jesus and ignore it. Some people are not going to like you, and that's okay. Some people are not going to accept you, and that's fine. But sometimes we're trying to change people's minds that are never going to be for us. That's not your battle. That battle is the Lord's. Hey guys, so I'm actually working on my goals right now for the month of June. And I like setting goals just because when you set goals, um, and you know, okay, this is my goal to achieve this. The next step is to think of what actions to take to achieve that goal. So I like um, setting goals because it makes me think of ways to achieve the goal because setting goals is, is good because of that. But just setting goals and leaving it there and just wanting to achieve the goal is not going to make the goal come to fruition. But taking consistent steps every single day to achieve that goal will then help that goal come to fruition. Like how I always talk about saving money um, for the bigger goal. So we are doing the 10K challenge, for example. Uh, we would like to have our honeymoon in December. So the action steps is to save 450 rand a month, me and my husband. That's the, like, 
it's better than to just withdraw 10,000 at the end of the month. We wouldn't even have that because that means that 10,000 would come from our income and what happens to the bills? <laughs> There's still bills. So yeah, we thought about the goal. Okay, this is the goal. So what actions should we take to reach the goal? So that's why I like setting goals. Okay, so this is my monthly reflection. We all know about it. So what challenged me this month? So you're just gonna write what challenged you. Um, for me, it was my work target. I was kind of juggling a lot um, and I had to work six days a week. So that was too much. Um, what I learned this month is how to manually fix some things in my car. So my car radiator is leaking. My coolant thing is leaking. So I'm, I've been learning a lot about cars and sorting that out while I save to get a new radiator um, because my warrant is just being annoying. And then lastly, it's what am I proud of? So I met my work targets, um, making five plus sales weekly. So that is such an achievement for me. I went from making like two sales a month to making five plus sales a week. I'm making my own decisions about my hair. So if you don't see, I changed from Afro to relaxed hair. It took me a while to get there and it's because I was just seeking approval from like friends and other people. But this time I was like, you know what, I am tired. I never show my hair anyways um, because of how hard it is to maintain an Afro. So yeah, um, gosh. So what I'm going to do now is write down what special dates, um, maybe birthdays or whatever. Uh, when is KB getting paid, um, any deductions happening, any dates, um, any weddings and stuff like that <laughs> happening. So I'm just going to fill up my calendar and then I'm going to start planning the week, this side. Um, so over here you are seeing my goal section, so I'm also going to write down my goals for the month. Okay. Okay, so this is the um, goals to do this, whatever it is, for the month of June. For now, I will add as I go. Um, so my top three are to make top, um, make 30 sales on my shop, which is always my top three. Excuse me. Um, to pay off my credit card. So I have a credit card that I want to pay off um, and also get new ID with new last name. So as you know, I just got married at home affairs, everything. So um, I want to get a new ID and get that out of the way and sort it. And then over here where you write your own um, subtitle, I guess, of what what category of your life are you wanting to set goals on? For me, I picked YouTube, Instagram and TikTok um, as it really plays a big role for my brand. Um, so I do have like a whole category for it. So for TikTok, I would like to reach 22,500 um, followers on TikTok. I would like to post three reels on Instagram. Um, and I also like to upload four YouTube videos. I uh, had a few comments wanting for more vlogs and stuff. Um, to create the stickers that I've been working on and actually have the final ones um, so that they can launch with the new binders and stuff and also work on the new launch so the photo shoot and things like that that go into launching something new um, and also for self-care I want to do a 21 day glow up um, starting tomorrow I want to pray more and worry less I worry a lot sometimes but I also want to focus on just praying and focusing on what I am happy about than what I need um, eat less carbs they bloat me so much and swell me up um, so I want to eat less carbs and also do a pedicure not really a pedicure but I just want to um, soak off my uh, gel on my toenails and then work and home to do this so for work i want to meet my targets create some more time management i kind of get lost and distracted sometimes with work um and i'm supposed to be doing something else i get distracted and then I, I get lost in that thing and then i forgot about this so i just need to create um, a time management there i don't know how but i'll figure it out 
start designing new um, journals for 2023 so new budget journals and also this one the 2022 year of abundance i'm going to start creating the 2023 one i'm designing it sorry and also to vlog and work because people are asking for a day in the life vlogs um and also my personal to do is to clean out my phone i have so many pictures like my phone is just full i need to sort that out i need to cook more um create personalized mugs and glasses i like doing those kind of things so i just want to do that more often and also buy um this other presser you'll see when i have it but yeah so those are my goals for this month so far but we'll see as we go so you see this cup over here that i use for coffee kb asked me to please personalize them and he asked me to personalize his with hubby and i just decided i would put wifey then on mine because just to match him um i was gonna write kb and norma but he, uh, he specifically asked for hubby so i'll put wifey
Okay, so I just finished my coffee, well, almost done. Um, yeah, I love coffee a lot. And I washed this before, so it is hand wash friendly, just not dishwasher friendly. Um, but yeah, would you like me to start selling these to have your names or wifey or girlfriend AF? <laughs> sister or best mom or whatever like comment down below what you think and they say, oh, yeah, yeah. To see